We start with the new information tonight about a fire in the Bronx that led to dramatic rescues. People climbing onto a roof and crawling onto awnings to escape, helped down by Good Samaritans waiting down below. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports on some lingering questions about the building. The flames bursting out of the back of 3750 East Tremont Avenue engulfed the wooden staircases that lead up to the second floor apartments. It was around 7.30 p.m. Friday, and with no way down, witnesses say everyone ran to the end of the second floor hallway where there's a door that opens up to the rooftop of Barrio BX next door. So lucky um, that there's a gate that um, connects to our roof. So all the neighbors, because they couldn't go that way, uh, managed to get through the door, jump on our roof, jump on our awning. Tony Martinez says staff and Good Samaritans pitched in to help residents down. And we caught a baby. I came out when they were like, you know, passing the baby, a six year old, and then pets. I've never seen so close up a fire at that extreme. It took firefighters about an hour and a half to bring it under control, and the FDNY says eight civilians and a firefighter sustained minor injuries. Professor of Fire Science Glenn Corbett says the exterior wooden stairs would likely not be considered by the city to be a fire escape. It appears that what happened here is that not only did the, the stairs themselves provide this enormous fuel load, a large volume of fire, but the power behind it allowed the fire to spread in, into the building from the outside, and that apparently cut off the means of egress. He adds it is illegal to have exits that go from one building to another, which seems to be the case here. Multi-story apartment buildings typically require at least two ways to get out. So far, the Department of Buildings tells us it has not issued any violations in relation to Friday's fire. We did reach out to the owner, and he declined to comment. The FDNY says the investigation is ongoing, and the DOB has issued vacate orders for all seven apartments and some of the ground floor stores. In Throgs Neck, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.